What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and it's time for our Week 8 Top 25 poll here at College Football. And I'm going to be doing the poll a little bit differently this week. I'm going to be looking at how the playoff committee, how I feel like the playoff committee would rank these teams uh, based off of their resume and everything that they look at. I'm going to take my personal opinions, my personal judgment completely out of this. I'm not going to give my opinion at all. Uh, this is just going to be based off of what I think the playoff committee would do. And this is the way we're going to do it moving forward. I spent hours on this poll this morning. Uh, that's why it's not out quite as early today. But I'm telling you, I went very deep into this. And we're going to go detailed in this video of every team and why I think they would be ranked where they are. So we're going to start at the top this week instead of the bottom. Uh, the number one team, Alabama. All right? Does Alabama have a quality win? That's that's kind of the, the question here. Why should they be number one? Who have they beaten? Well, if you, you have to go back to that Florida State game. And at that time, with a healthy DeAndre Francois, that was a really good Florida State team. So I'm going to give Alabama credit for that and say that that is a quality win. And also that, um, you know, the way that they have beaten every other team, for the most part, uh, they have been completely dominant. They have never been in doubt in any any single football game. Texas A&M was kind of close, but I'm a lot higher on Texas A&M now than I was before. So um, I think Alabama still number one, but it is close. I mean, these top three teams for me are very, very close. So let's go to number two, TCU. You're looking at wins over Oklahoma State, West Virginia, Kansas State. Uh, those are three quality wins. Uh, the Kansas State win, maybe not all that great, but still, Oklahoma State, West Virginia, especially at Oklahoma State win, I think TCU deserves the number two spot. But it is very, very close for me between two and three. Georgia, a very quality win over Notre Dame. They've been dominant in every other game. But still, that's their only real quality win. Uh, and it did concern me a little bit the way they gave up you know, 28 points to Missouri. Uh, but we're looking at the big picture. We're looking at the whole season. We're not going to just look at the last week. Um, and, yeah, Georgia very, very close to TCU. And TCU and Georgia both, to me, are very close to Alabama. All right, number four, a team that uh, I've dropped a little bit. You know, my personal opinion, I think Penn State is is probably the number two team right now. But that's not what we're going to do anymore. We're going to look at what the playoff committee would do. Penn State has a quality win on the road at Iowa. That's why they're up here at number four. But I don't think that win is quite as good uh, as the, the multiple wins for TCU and the Notre Dame win for Georgia. Um, they haven't been – I mean, they've been pretty dominant in the rest of their games. But, again, that's really their only quality win right now. Uh, if they beat Michigan next week, you could see Penn State move up maybe to number two. Uh, we'll see how all the other games play out. And then number five is Clemson. All right, I get it. Uh, they had a, that was not acceptable to lose to Syracuse, but Kelly Bryant was not healthy in this game. He wound up being knocked out of the game, and so we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt uh, because he was injured, and they just look like a different team without him. You saw it uh, in the game before against Wake Forest when he went out. So for benefit of the doubt, I'm going to say Clemson would still be number five right now. They still have what is not looking as good now wins over Auburn and Louisville neither one of those wins look as good as as they did before then they have that quality win over Virginia Tech who I feel like is still a quality team so yeah I think Clemson even with the one loss because of the injury now if they had lost like that with a healthy Kelly Bryant I think maybe they fall a little bit more but as of now yeah I think Clemson deserves to be number five and a lot of people may um say because of that tough loss they don't but that's where i think clemson would be again if i was in the committee's shoes so let's go to the next team all right i have notre dame at number six you have to look at uh then what now looks like a very quality win over michigan state and a close a very close loss to georgia who looks like a top four team right now so yes i think notre dame definitely deserves to be up here at number six i was actually considering putting them above clemson uh that was close for me but i think uh, again, because of the whole injury situation, Clemson gets that number five spot. Oklahoma at number seven. Uh, they still have a very quality win over Ohio State. They have a another win here against Texas last week. I know that the loss against Iowa State is bad, but I, I don't know. I still feel like because of that quality win, I think Oklahoma would stick uh, up here at number seven. Miami does, still doesn't have any great wins. They have Florida State. They have... Georgia Tech, 
Uh, those are decent wins. I think they those wins are better than Wisconsin's wins, so that's why Miami at number eight still undefeated. Wisconsin just doesn't have any quality wins, but they have been dominant in every game for the most part. Um, Purdue this past weekend, the toughest challenge for them. They've got off to some slow starts. All right, here are the next set of teams. We have a number 11, Michigan State. They have a pretty quality win over Michigan. That's you know looks like a pretty good win for them. Uh, and their one loss is to Notre Dame. I know it was a blowout, but uh, still a loss to a you know a decent team. I mean a good team, a really good team. So I've got Michigan State at number 11. Number 12 is USC. They do have some some pretty good wins. They've got a win over Stanford and Texas and Utah. So the wins are there. Uh, Washington State though beat them. So I think USC is still more about the way they played in those games. They weren't dominant in really any of those games. Stanford, the one exception. Uh, so yeah, USC number 12. Virginia Tech at 13. They've got a quality win over West Virginia. That's really about it. And that's not a great win right now, but it's a, it's a decent win, a pretty solid win. And they were somewhat competitive against Clemson, so they get the number 13 spot. Number 14, NC State. Uh, you're looking at quality wins over Florida State. Not a you know a great win. Louisville, that win doesn't look as good now. Um, but I think it's also the loss to South Carolina. The way they lost, they I think they outgained them in that game, almost doubled them up in total yards. So. I think NC State uh, deserves that number 14 spot with some pretty good wins. You know, a couple of pretty good wins. They also beat Marshall, who is, is pretty solid this year as well. Washington at number 15. Uh, they're really their only win is Cal. That's their best win, and they lose to Arizona State. So, yeah, I think they deserve to be all the way down to 15. They just haven't beaten anybody to this point. I mean, Cal is their best win. All right, now UCF. They've got some pretty good wins. Um, a dominant win over Maryland and Memphis. Those are not great wins, but they're decent wins. And this team is undefeated. That's what separates them uh, from these teams below them. So, yeah, I think Central Florida deserves that 16 spot right now. They've been very good. I mean, it's not just that they're winning. They're dominant in these wins. Uh, we'll see if it continues. But right now, they have the best resume out of all of the group of five teams. Washington State at 17. They have a quality win over USC. But that loss, I mean, this past Friday night, that loss was just horrible. Uh, that really hurt them in my eyes. Um, if they had lost a close game, I think they'd still be up there ahead of USC. But they got, I mean, just absolutely destroyed in that game. So they dropped to 17. San Diego State still has a quality win over Stanford, a pretty good win over Arizona State. Even though they lost to Boise State, uh, I still think they deserve to be up here uh, because – and again, we're looking at resumes, and they've still got two pretty good wins. Oklahoma State, uh, the tough loss to TCU, of course. Uh, the Texas Tech's really their only, you know, some quality win. Um, Texas Tech does appear to be a, a pretty solid team this year. So, yeah, I've got Oklahoma State at 19. I personally think that they're a lot better team than that. And Michigan, quality win. You can't really find any. Florida's their best win. Uh, it wasn't, you know, Florida's not looking good at all right now. So uh, Michigan, some close games against lesser competition and no real quality quality wins. That's why they're all the way down at number 20. All right, here we go with 21, the final teams of the top 25. 21, Kentucky. Uh, best win is South Carolina. And most of these teams really don't have any quality wins, um, you know, any great wins. Their best win is South Carolina. Their only loss, though, is to Florida in a game that they really should have won. Uh, so... You know, a player or two different there, and they would be undefeated right now, and we'd be talking about them a little bit differently probably. Uh, so, yeah, not really any quality wins, but, again, nobody at this point really has any great wins. South Florida undefeated but just have not beat anybody. Um, it's it's I mean, it's just a, a pretty weak resume if you look at it. Um, not good at all. Virginia, they've got a win over Duke. They've got a road win over Boise State, and they've only got one loss. So watch out for this Virginia team. Um the, the loss to Indiana definitely hurts them, but they're still uh, looking pretty good with just the one loss. Uh, they've really improved from last year, and they're probably the biggest surprise to me uh, on this list. South Carolina, quality win over NC State, a decent win over Tennessee. Uh, they do have the loss to Kentucky uh, that, that does hurt. And then their other loss is to Texas A&M, and that's the team at number 25. And these are actually reversed. Uh, made a mistake in there. Texas A&M is supposed to be number 24. South Carolina is supposed to be number 25. 
uh, because their resumes are very similar. Texas A&M beat them head to head, so Texas A&M would be ahead of South Carolina. Uh, I just I don't know why I typed that wrong, but yeah, Texas A&M is supposed to be number 24. Uh, you're looking at a a close loss to Alabama, and then that crazy game against UCLA, which they should have won. I know they're they're I mean that is just going to kill their season possibly. Uh, they could be looking at uh, being a, a playoff contender possibly if they had just won that game. But, uh, yeah, Texas A&M should be 24, South Carolina 25. Uh, Texas A&M doesn't have any great wins, but they do have the win over Florida. Uh, that's probably their best win. And then, obviously, South Carolina. So they have, you know, a couple of decent wins there. Top 25 is over, but we're going to just continue on here with 26 through 30. Iowa comes in at number 26, a close loss to Penn State. And also Michigan State. So, yeah, uh, two really good teams have beaten them, and they were competitive in those games. So Iowa's a team that is, is right there on the edge of the top 25. They do have a win over Iowa State, which is now looking like a pretty good win. Iowa State comes in at number 27. Of course, the big win over Oklahoma, but they do have a couple of losses to Iowa and Texas. Uh, so that does hurt them. But, yeah, out of the two loss teams here, they've for sure got the best, the, the best quality win. Uh, over Oklahoma so you can't count them out right now Stanford at 28 um, they don't really have any great wins they've got the win over Utah but their two losses were to good teams USC and to uh, who else did they lose to San Diego State so they lost to, to good teams but again getting to this point we, we don't, it's hard to find really any quality wins uh, 29 Auburn their best win is Mississippi State they lost to a pretty good LSU team and then Clemson a really good team uh, but you're still looking for that quality win for Auburn. And we're going to have a lot to say about this team uh, on our recap uh, coming up later today. So make sure you watch that video if you want to hear more about Auburn. 30 is Boise State, a team I didn't expect to be here. But now they've got a quality win over San Diego State. The loss to Virginia definitely hurts them. Uh, but still, Virginia and Washington State are top 25 teams. Those are their two losses. And they now have a quality win over San Diego State. So... Uh, yeah, I think they deserve that 30 spot. And then the final four teams, West Virginia, a win over Texas Tech is good for them. Texas Tech at 32. Um, they've got, you know, some decent wins. Mississippi State, a win over LSU. That's why they're at 34. And you can't overreact to that win over Auburn for LSU because you have to look at the whole resume. That is their only – well, they've got Florida. Is it? Florida's a de decent win. Auburn's a, a pretty quality win. But they still lost to Troy. They were still blown out by Mississippi State. Uh, so because of that, right now, LSU has to stay at number 34. That's just that's the way I feel the committee would look at it. Um, they just they really get penalized for that loss against Troy. And, and the fact that, again, they weren't even competitive against Mississippi State. And because of that head-to-head, -head, Mississippi State gets the 33 spot. Um, so, yeah, when you're looking at these teams, it's hard to find the quality wins. LSU has probably better wins than West Virginia, Texas Tech, and Mississippi State. But you have to look at the losses, too. You can't just look at the wins. You're looking at the whole resume, uh, all the things that the committee looks at. So that's how I would rank the, the top 34 teams. These are the teams uh, that at least have a, a pretty quality, a pretty decent win um, on their resume. And then we have three more teams with, with uh, two losses that I'm, I'm looking at. They don't really have a quality win right now. But these are three teams that I personally think are still really good football teams and could have a chance to, to climb these rankings very soon. There are some three loss teams I'm high on as well, um, but we're not going to get into that in this video. So here's the three teams, the only other Power 5 teams with two losses uh, that, again, these teams just don't have any quality wins right now. Utah, Georgia Tech, and Arizona. Uh, some tough losses for these teams. They've lost to some good teams. But again, you they just don't have any quality wins. So right now, I can't really rank them um, up there with any of those other teams. Now, once they start playing some more games, maybe get some quality wins, uh, they have a chance, I think, to get into our rankings, maybe even our top 25. So yeah, that is how I think the playoff committee would rank the teams right now. We're going to do this moving forward through the season. And once the actual rankings get here, we'll see week to week how close my projections are to the actual college football playoffs. The only difference is... You're going to get mine on Sunday mornings. Um, and by the time this video is published and everything, I try to get my video out before the AP and the coaches polls. Um, but I don't think I'm going to make it today. The, the poll, I think, comes out at 11 o'clock Central Time. So uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this video in the, way, the new way that I'm doing it. Again, I'm taking my personal opinion completely out of this. 
There are a lot of teams here that I would personally rank differently based on how good I think they are. Uh, like Oklahoma State, I think that's a top 10 team, but I had them down at like 19 or something like that. So there you go. Go ahead and leave a comment down below with your thoughts. I'm sure you're going to disagree with some of this, and that is perfectly fine. I like to hear all of your opinions. Um, so yeah, leave a comment. Thanks for watching this video, and stay tuned for more. Uh, we've got our mid-season predictions coming up starting today. I'll have more on that in, the, in uh, the next video, so make sure you watch for that. Stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports YouTube channel.